<laughs> Here we go again. It's judgment day for the box sleeper. And after two failed dino days resulting in a completely fully forged engine rebuild, we're hoping it's third time lucky. Today, we really kickstart the hunt for big power in the scabby sleeper, with the aim to push into uncharted power territory, raising a boost and shooting for glory with a BHP figure that will really cement the box as a certified sleeper build. But it's not going to be easy. Using a mix of the cheapest parts available and also certified brands to support our power goals, we're as ready as we'll ever be, so it's full send. Light a candle, say a prayer and hope it doesn't go bang. For the best in universal premium ester containing engine oils and fuel additives for both petrol and diesel engines, check the links down below in the description. Officially gassed, powered by Manor. Fireman Sanj. How's it going, brother? Yeah, not bad, not bad. So it is the day, it is dino day. Yep. How are you feeling? Not bad, a bit nervous. Where do you think we're gonna be today? And do you see us having any problems? If we are gonna have problems, where do you see them being? Me, I wanna land at 666. You call it the bleed up. I'd say that our weakest point will be the head with the stock valves yes. and the stock head. Other than that, the bottom end, we've fully forged it. So I think the bottom end's pretty good. Obviously, we've got your Wuhan special in the manifold. For sure, for sure. Which is this one here. And then we've also got the Wuhan still manifolds and all that yeah, sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're saying oh, over, over 650? Yes, I, I think just over 650. Okay. I'd say safely. Safely. We're, we're going to try to keep But you know how, whoa, 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 key word there, bro. Oh, nice. Potentially, we could go towards 700, not that I really want it. All right, so <laughs> over 700 break no, 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 no. Now, we have actually also got John, shout out to John, who will be mapping. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? For the man of Octane Booster. I think we're going to have a word with John, who's going to be taking on the task of mapping this bad boy today. Yes, yes. And uh, he's going to talk us through exactly how we're going to get to 900 brake horsepower. John, welcome back to Jimmy. the channel. You mapped my car on four and a half cylinders and still made over, was it, what did you make? 550 or something? Yeah, something crazy like that. <laughs> yeah, 450 at the wheel. Wasn't 450 it? at the wheel. Mm -hmm. Now with our new setup, what's your thoughts on where we're going to be today and how do you see it going? The gearbox is going to be our weakest point. Typically blow up on like stock power, really. <laughs> stock head, which is going to be a bit new for me. Typically, there's a big difference between a stock engine with 500 horsepower and a fully built engine at 1,000. So sure. I don't know where to really be in between. Okay. okay. One way to find out is yeah, 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 yeah. find out. I think even with the 500 horsepower, we still had a little bit of, uh, of a traction issue on this dyno. So today, we're going to strap it down slightly different. We'll, we'll, find, we'll out. find out. We'll find out. Are you happens. quite confident we're going to make some good power? Then? Yeah, it will make more than it did. Bro, just send it. Prayers, prayers. Prayers, Sanj. Ah. All right, guys, so before we actually get things going, right now you heard the valve just open. So we thought we'd start it off the right way with a little bit of launch control. So. All right, guys, so John's done all his wizardry. Things seem pretty happy. So we're going to start at a low blue setting of like 15 PSI and work our way up. So burn the valve open. That means it's time for business. Let's get in there and see what she makes. So only 418 brake horsepower on low boost. Fairly impressive, yes. However, running our car in front wheel drive mode has introduced the possibility of wheel spin on the dyno. John just revved the car all the way out to 7,300 RPM, but the dyno only read 5,900 RPM, meaning she's already spinning. So John and Sanj rejigged the straps, adjusted the tire pressures, and hit it again. <laughs> And 27 great horse powers right there. Low boost. We're on, boys. We're on. The ball is rolling. 527 low boost. Made it over that magical mark 
now. We've never been uncharted territory right now. This thing is spicy. Just the sound of it. Letting off shots on the limiter. The way it's ignition cutting is mad. All right, guys, so what you just saw there, the last two runs, interestingly enough, made near on the same power. But what the crazy thing is, the first run was 30 PSI. The run you just saw there was 25 PSI. What John done is took boost out of it to try and make it grip. And it literally is spinning up the wheels on the dyno. He's revving it all the way out to 7.3, but the dyno is only registering that we're revving out to like 6.1. So we keep getting wheel spin at the same RPM kind of place, if that makes sense. So essentially, we have wheel spinning. So what we're about to try and do is me and Sanj are gonna sit on the front to try and get that weight over that front axle to hopefully stop it spinning. So we're either gonna die or we're gonna make some power. A limit, shall we say? Yes. A speed limit on the dyno, and secondly, just traction, just too much of a problem. We're backing off boost to try and gain traction. Uh, power staying the same, not because of the flow or anything like that. It, it's just the traction side of things. So 618 um, with a bit of weight on the front. We're still 1,000 RPM behind on the dyno, so there's more power in it. Yeah, we seem to have reached the limit. 618 brake horsepower, 25 psi on this dyno, but you know we can't end here. So what we're about to do is go to Plan B. So in three, two, one, Plan B incoming. Welcome to Rent Studios. We have the main man Hamid back on the channel finally. I bet people did not expect to see you on this video. But interestingly, you're next door to Vara Technic. Oh, I should say they're next door to us. <laughs> uh, you already know Rent Studios, we're in Ashford now, TW15, one X-ray Bravo, hit us up. From tuning, modifications, wraps, tints, sound systems, Alcantara, Starlights, you name it, we do it. So now we are on your fancy dyno, and in fact, this looks a little bit out of place in this fancy workshop. Basically, I was just carrying on with my work, normal Saturday, and I could hear screeching from next door <laughs> coming, which was your car not getting enough traction on the two-wheel drive That's dyno it. system. Me being a gentleman, have offered, <laughs> you know, come straight through, put it on the dyno. Yep. This is a linked dyno jet, so the front rollers are linked to the rears, okay. uh, simulating a real road. So you're not gonna have any of that spin anymore. For the bigger horsepower cars, this is also a loaded dyno, so we can add extra load. Okay. So I think it caters up to about 3,000 horsepower. No way. What's the dyno record? On, on here, I think we're sort of between 15 to two somewhere there. Uh, we've got a bit of work, boys, we've got a bit of work. All right, so what we're gonna do is get the boys in the car and literally just run her up and Let's see start. what she makes. Let's go. Let's go.
switching the box back into front wheel drive mode to determine a suspected issue, we found we had a major problem. After a few dyno runs with John adjusting the map at 25 PSI, we landed at 648 brake horsepower. Checking over coil packs and spark plugs, we found a potentially catastrophic failure. Cylinder 5 had eaten a spark plug. And with that amount of shrapnel bouncing around in a cylinder, things were looking bad. However, after a boroscope check to see inside the cylinder and a compression test, we had escaped with little to no damage at all. The sh box is truly unstoppable. So with a fresh set of uprated plugs, we put her back together and gave it one final send with the boost turned up. So there you have it, the sh box made an incredible 737 brake horsepower, that's 629 at the wheels, now firmly cementing the Blue Devil into real sleeper status. Unfortunately, in the excitement, I forgot to turn my mic on for the final chat, <laughs> but in a nutshell, John's pretty impressed, Sanj is very worried, and I'm absolutely buzzing. However, a number on a dyno is one thing, how it performs on the road is another. So I guess on the next video is first drive time. And then we're gonna go out and put it to the test against some fast cars. <laughs> Once again, a massive shout out to everyone at Vara Technic for building a monster box sleeper and to John Lamsley for mapping her up for me. Also a big shout out to all the boys at Wrench Studios for assisting us to get where we needed to get today. Teamwork makes the dream work and links to all companies can be found down below in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. And if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. And we'll be back soon with another episode of the Box Chronicles. Peace out.